Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up. Wait. Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas. I think this will be episode three. It's been quite a few days since I last picked up the camera because I've been very busy with work. I work in a shop, so it's been it's been mega busy and plus I've been working extra hours as well. So but I have a day off today and it's actually what is the date? Let's have a look. I've like lost all sense of time. It is Friday the 8th of December. So day off today, I'm gonna to share with you my advents, show my projects. I'm back, my phone went off because I've got about five, what feels like 500 alarms set on it to remind me to do things, else I just forget, forget. Anyway, I think I was chatting about my advents. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the two advents that I've been mainly working on. I have not picked up my socks, so, I need to think about that when I'm gonna do that as well. And I think today is just gonna be a little, it's gonna be a bit of everything. So I've got some housework to catch up on. I want to sit and work on some of my projects. And I'm also gonna go out for a lovely coffee in a minute and a sweet treat with my husband. We are gonna to go to our local national trust. We are so lucky that our local national trust property area is literally we can walk there that's how close we live to to where it is which is brilliant but it has just started to rain so we might park the car close by and then walk the remainder of the way so of course i will take you with me um but yeah i will probably be back later because i finished my book magic lessons and i've picked up another book from the bookcase which i've been saving all year i say all year i can't remember when i picked that one up actually and i'll chat about that as well and also i ordered a couple of christmas project bags and they've arrived <laughs> my arm is starting to hurt so sorry if this is wonky um and i'm going to show you them so yeah i think that's it for a minute let me flip the camera around and i will show you the advents Okay, first up, this is my granny wrap shawl that I am making with Molly's advent calendar, a homespun house. You can see at the minute I've done three, three days and then I've got all of these to add in. They are absolutely stunning. And Molly picks the best names like this one's called Nutcracker Ballet, Peppermint Pinwheel, Christmas Pajamas, Red Nosed Reindeer, and Cranberry Orange Crumble. That is today's. It's beautiful. They're all so pretty. They're gonna look great because this one is a fade. So I'm going to look forward to adding them in later. And the advent came with this really cute, I think it's a Lacking, I think it's Lacking Lou. Oh, so sweet. Look at that. It's like a little holly. I don't know what you'd call. Is it like a gnome? Like a little holly gnome? The sweetest thing ever. And my second advent and project that i have been really loving so much although i'm going to be really honest and say it was a bit of a, a struggle for me to start this off i'll be honest but i'll come back to that in a bit and look i need to do my nails again oh, i need more hours in the day anyway now my tummy's rumbling <laughs> why is it that my it, do you know what? It's either the seagulls are outside, my tummy's rumbling, Molly is asleep upstairs, bless her, on a heat pad. I need to take a little video of that. She's so sweet, bless her. It's because she's getting so old now, bless her. She's really feeling the cold. Right, 
stop jibber jabbering. Okay, so this is the Anna Anka advent, which is by Camilla, Cami Jo Knits, and each day the mini skein is based on a painting from Danish artist Anna Anka, and it's been so enjoyable because Jessie helps me open up all of the advents. I, can, I don't open any of these up on my own. We take in turns and she goes over to the side, which you would have seen on the first Vlogmas where I've got them all set up and she gathers them all down and then we, I open a couple and she opens a couple and it's so sweet. And she now loves, she even says to me, let's go on and check the painting. And um, and then she looks at the skein and she puts it next to the image on Google and it's so sweet. And so day four is this one. And this one is in the red room with the artist's mother, Anne. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. In my British Devonshire accent, Anne. Anne Brondum, oh Camilla, help me out. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? It's gonna look, I can't wait to see these colors in the anthology throw. Day five is Sunshine in the Blue Room, and this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That's beautiful, that one. This one was the one that I said to you I was really excited about seeing and I love this colour. This is day six and this is Harvest Workers. The painting is beautiful. Really beautiful. Day seven, Young Woman Among Puppies. I think that's right. Look at those lovely speckles. Absolutely gorgeous. And then today, day eight, is interior with clematis. And it's um, it's fun picking out. You can see where Camilla has picked out the colours from the paintings because the the main colour of this skein looks like it's the the walls, and then the clematis. Um, I like these pops of colour, the, the speckly colours, which is lovely. So I've got those ones to add into the anthology throw. So this first section here is all from one skein and I still had a little bit left over actually. It's surprising how much 20 grams goes, isn't it? I still have that much left, which is great because that's going to go into my patchwork blanket and I'm now on to the second colour and then I think I'm missing a colour to show you then aren't I? Oh yeah it's in here. This was day three. This is flowers in the garden of the Anchor family. Oh that is stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? I forget what they look like after working a few days my brain goes a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> December's so busy isn't it? December's such a busy month. I love December but I, I do get easily overwhelmed by everything I will be honest but I love it. I love it so much. Um, so I really struggled with this centre. I have never ever done, oh, what do they call it? You're basically doing like a circular cast on and there were many tutorials on YouTube. Even the pattern suggests a, a tutorial. I tried following that one and I, I couldn't, for whatever reason, my brain could not pick it up. So I then just went searching on YouTube and I watched various videos. I kept thinking I was doing it wrong, but in actual fact, I was doing it right all along and I just needed to get past a certain amount of stitches to be able to see that I was doing it right. I even then went on to Instagram to search for other people's uh, anthology throws to see if I could see the centre because I kept thinking that mine looked really whole, like holy and gappy, but in actual fact that was that is what it was meant to be to begin with. So 
I'm so glad that I persevered with it because it is such a beautiful pattern and I think it would it's going to show the um this advent off just wonderful it's going to be so nice oh my days I'm going to sort my nails out in a minute <laughs> it's going to be so nice yeah really really enjoying it so I think I've got a few more rounds on this color and in a minute I think I'll be a lot quicker changing to the next colors for the sections so hopefully today I can get on colour number four and then this weekend I'll have a nice bit of knitting time so you never know I might manage to I won't be able to catch up and I'm not going to put that pressure on myself because I'm really enjoying it and um, I don't want to rush it. it for me knitting and crafting the enjoyment is the process whilst it's lovely when you finish something the process is really um, important to me, so I'm not going to rush it. Um, so yeah, that's enough Advent chat for a minute, isn't it? And I will be back later to show you my Bed of Roses Advent as well, because that has been so enjoyable. All the little charms each day. I've not managed to eat any of the sweets because a certain little somebody gets the sweets, but at least I get the tea bags. the night 